wonder who that could be. Uh, yeah. It's me, the mailman. Uh, I came to drop off a package. Uh, I hope you like it. Bye! Hmm. I wonder what package it is. Watch out, Pop-Tarts cat. Alright. It's from Mr. Hand. One of my greatest friends. Ah, uh, yes. An executive letter opener. This is exactly what I need for my plans. To open my letters. I have lots of fan mail, and I have nothing to open them with. Ah, this letter opener was made by the Choate Machine Tool Corporation in Arkansas, and it's an executive letter opener. Hmm. Time to open some letters. This one is from my number one fan. As you can see, I have very much trouble opening my letters with my gloved hands. Time to use the letter opener. Does the job quickly and effectively. This is from Lame Happens, one of my great friends. Let us see how effective this letter opener is. I cut a little bit too much there, but it's okay. It's all in the plan. Tandy Leather Factory. He knows I like leather. Congratulations. And from K-Snake1. There is nothing in this letter. Gendo is not pleased. Yes, according to the document I have received with this executive letter opener, it is a very expensive glass-filled plastic polymer. It will not be detected by a metal detector. And it is very, very, very pointy. Use my imagination. Oh yes, I have much imagination. Hmm. Especially since it says letter opener on the handle. They won't know it's tough enough to kill a dragon. Well, I have experience in that. Use it in good health. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hand. Now, let us put this to good use to see if it can stand up to Nerve HQ standards. As you can see, the damage was pretty, pretty intense. This tool right here could save your life with a slash. As you can see, that went pretty deep. It would really mess you up or give you a really bad day. Tree trunk, this penetrated about an inch, an inch and a quarter. And a tree trunk is pretty hard. It's a lot harder than a uh, zombie, as we can say. As you may have noticed, I had to take off my gloves for this test. Breaking the brick with the butt. <clears throat> ah, very dangerous. But I will chip the brick with it. As you can see, I chipped a little bit of the back end, but it's not too bad on the damage. I mean, it actually held up pretty well in my hand. As you can see, it's strong enough to split a 4x4 clean in half without any deviation in the polymer or breakage. And finally, the standing test. Let's see if it can hold up. I'm going to try to keep going with the handle and see if I can stand on the handle, but chances are it's not going to work. Nope. Well, there you have it. It will do everything but hammer into a tree. For some strange reason, it just won't do it. Well, it seems that this knife, or it was a knife, would stand through a lot, a lot of abuse. But when I try to hammer it into the tree, that's when it failed on me. I don't expect this, this uh, knife to be hammered into a tree, you know, and, and, you know, to stand on it. But I was very impressed that I could hammer it into a 2x4 and split it in half. Now, I think... I thank you, thank you, thank you to Mr. Chuck Hand 
for providing me with one of these executive letter openers from the Choi Tool Company to test out for my videos. Also, we'll be having an AK-74 6x5 bayonet test coming up very soon in the future. Thanks guys, this is the Mayor, thanks for watching. Further notes with this knife. This is good for covert operations, undercover, special ops, ninja style, either which one that fits your fancy. This is perfect for those types of operations. I don't expect it to hold an edge like, like a steel knife, but hey, it's plastic, it's polymer, it won't be detected in x-ray, and also on top of that, metal detector can't find it. So, this is the Mayor. Thanks for watching.